Okay, uh, welcome back to my channel. Right now, I'm going to create this sheet metal elbow, which is I think is a bit of walk around when you use like a inventor or something that have straight away how to create this one. But in Fusion, it's a bit tricky. So I will show you here how I create this, and then if you can see here every component that I created, I already create a flat pattern so when you guys want to create the pattern or flat pattern to be the this elbow will be going to be manufactured so this is uh, a perfect uh, tutorial maybe for you guys who needed uh, this kind of the uh, design or uh, tutorial okay let's get uh, started Okay, first of all, I would like to create, uh, maybe I create the sketch circle first. This is basically just the cylinder uh, with a certain thickness. So I'm going to offset the sketch, uh, maybe inside for one millimeter thickness as a sheet metal thickness. So you have to define how thick is your plate. At the beginning and then you just extrude how much the length i really don't know right now so i just make an extrusion as long as is necessary and then i will create the elbow sketch here on the front plane so i will create the line to create the sketch to uh, divide the section of each uh, of its uh, elbow section so this is the first section the second line here for the second section the third line for third section and also for the at the end of the section and maybe I will add one more so basically you also can create many section as you can but in this tutorial I just want to create maybe one two three three section at the middle and then both ends it would be okay so i make the measurement no maybe not the measurement just an angle so this is basically is for the center line okay center line yeah so i create the um, angle measurement here for this first section okay 11.25 and also for the last section should be the same with the very first okay and then at the middle i will create a 22.5 for the angle so the the all the three sections is at the same angle should be at the same angle okay okay after that we need to create the center line for this elbow okay okay i will delete that line and recreate okay so at the first here you have to have a vertical line and then uh, i make it construction line and i continue with the uh, maybe arbitrary direction first and then I cut and also we have to put the angle so this angle will be 22.5 okay and then also create another line okay so it's a arbitrary direction and have to measure the angle 22.5 same and then the third section center line okay is the same method and procedure 22.5 and then the last one will be over there okay just make a perpendicular is enough and then we if you check the angle will be the same okay so the third one two three the section all uh, create the same 
uh, angle and then make it all construction line because we just want to create the center line to help to position the elbow okay and then uh, I think it's uh, good enough the sketch and uh, okay okay yeah okay, and then we finish the sketch and then we cut this body okay cut using the first section of the yeah okay and then you just should be turn on the sketch and also we want to rotate this using this pivot okay but you have to rotate the pivot a bit uh, 11 point minus using minus is depend on the direction 11.25 for the first angle and then I rotate 180 degrees okay okay it's perfectly aligned okay and then I continue this method to the other section to the next section here cut it and then after you cut you just rotate the body okay, maybe I will try to use the rotation axis oh mm, it seems not yeah maybe maybe I will try to another method okay let's try again no because I need to align the rotation axis so I will use the pivot as well to better access to click on the center I think it's better that we turn off the body so we get get a better access okay over there just click and then but you still have to align the position of the axis okay so this one will be uh, minus 22.5 and also minus uh, 11 11.5 i think let me yeah i think 22.5 minus 11.25 okay okay i think it's a good alignment and then we rotate 180 degrees again check it it puts uh, made together yeah it's made together and then we can continue to the other section the rest of the section Okay, so that body and then set the pivot. Yeah, over there. <coughs> then we rotate using the 22.5 minus 22.5 second section and then minus 11.25. So it's a third because it is the fourth section okay then rotate again 180 degrees okay and turn on and cut again for the last section okay cut and then here the splitting tool over there okay I will rotate again Oh, that should be that one. Okay. Okay. Rotate again. At the over there. Report. Okay. Make sure it's the right. Okay. I will rotate the other way around. Minus eleven point twenty five. Okay. And then just rotate this last section one hundred eighty degrees of rotation and then check it yeah it's perfectly aligned okay okay for the last section we have to make sure uh, to compensate the length of the first cylinder okay we have to compensate with the measure again 
over there and then snap point k okay, over there 21.399 okay so you compensate this one with minus 21.99 or oh, 21 i think it's 21.399 okay 399 okay it's perfectly aligned it's good okay now it's the it's done for the elbow this elbow and then we going to create the each section and convert it into the sheet metal and create the flat pattern uh, prior to do that you have to create the splitting or maybe we should create the gap on a sheet metal round like this so this is basically for the gap so i put it uh, at the middle here and then i put the dimension particularly just as enough as necessary and then the gap i used 0 0.5 millimeter for the gap okay and then you just extrude this uh to cut you can also if you want to have the gap at the other side so you can cut to the other direction is is also work okay and then so there's the body and i will convert to component and also after i convert to a component i convert to the sheet meta here create convert the sheet meta just select the body and they will detect the thickness so we were using one millimeter thickness okay and then from here we just easily activate component and then create the flat pattern flat pattern okay uh, yeah over there there's a flat pattern just click the stationary face just click face and boom is uh, created the flat pattern for this okay okay and then you can continue to the rest of the uh, body rest of the body and then do the same method to continue okay the black pattern and then just click ok so it's a uh, created the flat pattern okay so from this all flat pattern you can uh, create a drawing and then you can uh, cut all the flat pattern but i think the section in the middle the three section over there I assume or maybe I predict they will have the same uh, shape and dimension that one the both of that and then at the both two ends of the elbow I think also have the same uh, dimension and also the same uh, shape uh, but even though there's a same shape I just want to continue this uh, creating of that pattern okay and then the body number 5 create component then convert to the shade metal okay and then after converting create the flat pattern okay oh let's get the part okay okay yeah and then the very last okay and then create a flat pattern just create a flat pattern this is the last uh, section so yeah okay yeah I think it's all the necessary flat patterns already created so thank you for watching and then see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.